Hi traders, uh, back again with uh, video number two on range bar trading one, two, threes. That's what this says right up here, so let's do this. Okay, so what is a range bar first, you might be asking if you're not familiar with range bars, and range bars simply are a, a bar that uh, is always the same size. So, in other words, uh, if you can set it for anything you want, I typically use anywhere between uh, uh, 5 and 13 pips per bar. And what that does is, uh, is takes a lot of the noise, if you will, out of the charts. Um, let me see if I can show that a little bit better. Okay, so this is just a bar chart, no biggie, but uh, and this is not a range bar chart. Um, but uh, each candle here, this is a one minute candle, each candle here is different size, almost none of them are exactly the same size. So within like for instance this, uh, this range right here, um, outline it right across in here, from here to here, uh, that's about, uh, let me see, that's about six and a half pips. So using a range bar chart, if you were set to say six pips, there would only be, uh, well, from here to here, there would only be one candle to cover this entire distance from here to here. Uh, whereas here, this one is like, um, this is 15 pips, so this would actually be two bars plus. So there would be two here, and then there would be another one or two here. And what it does, as I said, it just takes all this noise out because the market spends uh, a lot of time in uh, consolidation. This would be, of course, consolidation where price just kind of doesn't really go anywhere at all. In fact, this whole, uh, this whole area right in through here here to here, uh, from well to the at least this point right over here, it's just going back and forth. Uh, and to try and trade in here, you get all chopped up, you get whipsawed, you lose a lot of pips because you know maybe you're looking at oh gee you know this bar was something and this bar was something else so I'm going to go long here and you know it it, it doesn't work out well. So the range bars takes a lot of this noise out of here. And <clears throat> so let's get on with how to install that. You can do some research on that yourself uh, if you'd like. Uh, in fact, let me get it back up here so you can remember. And this is range bars, <clears throat> range bars. So you can go to like babypips.com. Uh, and if you need to, and read up on range bars, there's a lot more information on there. And also on 123s. Those are the two main tenets of what I'm going to get into here. Now, let's uh, install, or show you how to install, uh, a range bar E8. And an E8 stands for Expert Advisor. Now, the first thing you need to do is, there's a button right up here on MT4, which is is MT4 and it's called auto trading right up here in the top left and auto trading must be uh, green if it's red then your EA won't work also there's a teeny tiny little smiley face over here that's not smiling it's showing what the EA is but I don't know it's probably not big enough to see but uh, if you open a regular MT4 chart you'll probably be able to see it better but this is a smiley face with a frown. So you can see it's a frown. I go over here and click this. So now it says green. And now the smiley face is a smiley face. Okay. So the range bar EA. Uh, okay. All right. uh, anyways, it'll be down in your expert advisor folder on under um, uh, under navigator. And <clears throat> under navigator and so one second here 
So the uh, range bar EA is under uh, expert advisors, which is this folder down here. Now, how do you get this folder up? Well, uh, under the menu over here, you go to the second one on, on top here is view. Uh, sorry for this fine, uh, the small font that at this point there's in time, there's no way to increase the size of these fonts on this chart. So just once you get used to MT4, if you're not already, then you'll know where this is. But under the view menu, you have a choice of opening up these various, uh, these various windows. Uh, and uh, market watch is, uh, is this one down here that it gives you all the pairs uh, that uh, you're inter interested in trading. And then there's the data window, which is this one right here. And what this will tell you is what the, first off, what the pair is. In this case, this happens to be the Euro uh, New Zealand. The date, uh, the time, uh, the, the open of the candle, the high of the candle, the low and the close. Also, it shows you the volume here if you want to study volume, do that on your own. I don't um, really know much about it. And besides that, the caveat with volume is the fact that the volume it only is only representative of the broker that you're using. So whereas if you're trading stocks or futures, there's like a central uh, a central location that all the information goes through. Like if it's the um, if it's the Dow, then everything goes through the, the stock exchange, all of the information, <clears throat> excuse me, all of the trades, etc. Whereas if you're trading forex, whatever broker you're using, the volume is exclusive to that broker. So, uh, and I do have one other indicator that I use on the charts, which is called the the average daily range. I'll get into that a little bit later. So back up to here go into the view menu and you want to open the navigator and that's this one down here now let me just go ahead and enlarge this so it's easier to get a, a broader perspective and I have grips of <laughs> of indicators in here uh, but this is a, uh, a GMT practice account um, and uh, as you go down here, you just open up various folders. So I have the indicator folder open. Uh, the first series is trend, and this will have basic indicators in it. The second is oscillators, etc., uh, etc. Et I don't want to get too far into that. Um, okay, so then we come down to. Uh, we have two more folders underneath this, which are expert advisors and scripts. So I have loaded uh, the range bar EA into expert advisors. Now you do that, you can do that on an open chart, but I do it on a closed chart. And that's, you can go to Baby Crips to find out how to do that if you'd like. So uh, moving average, uh, excuse me, the range bar EA this one right here and I you would just either drag it over to the chart or double click on it and it would open it up in this case I already have it open you can see it says so right up here in the top right and so let's take a look at what that looks like expert advisor properties okay so this is the this is the business part it says inputs but let's go through the whole thing about we'll just tell you any copyrights and who made it maybe or what it's called. In this case this one's called Range Bar EA New Format. This one works great. I have no problems with it even though it says copyright 2008 but it's uh, it's still here in 2016 it's still uh, a viable option to use range bars. The uh, common tab will uh, you can choose either uh, long only uh, to take uh, for this thing to take trades long only or show trades um, and or short only or long and short and in this case 
uh, it doesn't matter because this EA does not automatically do anything for you other than give you the size of the candles. Now there are uh, alerts and the alerts typically only come on when um, there's an error in how you set, the, set this up and uh, so it's not that important. Um, live trading, click allow live trading but once again this EA does not take the trades for you so that's not important. With some other EAs it, it could be. Uh, and then you usually will have uh, allow DLL imports and allow imports of external experts. You usually have those two uh, selected. Okay, so the the inputs, and this is the business end of this, is first is the bars range. Okay, so the bars range I've set in this one, I told you it's 13, so not on this chart, but on the next chart I'm going to show you. Uh, it will, uh, each bar will represent 13 pips. Uh, the time frame, number three, is set to number three, which it, it just has to be something uh, out of the ordinary. On, on MT4, most, some of you know, the time frames you have available are one minute, five minute, 15 minute, 30 minute, one hour, four hour, daily, weekly, monthly. Okay, so the time frame three, it does two things. It tells you um, which, uh, what to look for on the, uh, the chart you want to open up, which I'll show you in just a moment. And uh, then the next one, 8,000. So this will give you a maximum of uh, whatever number you have set here. I choose 8,000. That gives me, with what I'm doing here, it gives me about maybe 10 days worth of uh, charts to look at. So maybe for back testing. Um, now, almost all brokers nowadays are five digits. So you would want this true show gaps. You'd also want to show uh, put that to true so you can tell if there was extreme rapid movement. Now also, getting back to this three, this three will tell you, um, or it gives directions to the chart that you have on uh, that would act as a, as, a, as a multiplier in some EAs. Now what I mean by that is this is a one minute chart that I'm putting this on so if this was acting as a multiplier which it's not in this case but um, then the future I mean the chart that you opened up under the uh, and under the offlines would be three times uh, three times the one minute so meaning three minutes but in that case in this case no but this is this would be like an all EA reference kind of video to, to give you an overall idea. <clears throat> uh, but in this case, it just tells us what to look for when we open an offline chart. Okay, so now that we have this set up and installed on here, uh, oh, we have one more tab here, dependencies, and just don't touch that. <laughs> okay, then you get into the programmer's end of it and... Uh, you don't want to do that. Okay, so next then um, we're going to see how to do this. Let's say that we're just now first installing this on here. So now we go back up to the file menu in the top left. And the second item is open offline. Okay, so, uh, oh, by the way, everything here is alphabetical. It, it doesn't come default when you open up your MT4 that way. You have to uh, you have to drag and drop uh, all of your pairs to make them alphabetical, which makes it a lot easier to find a pair if you're looking for them or a particular pair. Anyways, so I'm just going down here to the season of urine New Zealand. So I'm going to go down here to urine New Zealand, and uh, we have this is the chart right here, the M3 that this is. Um, 
set up for it, which is set up already. Otherwise, it would not be highlighted. It would be grayed out like down here. But uh, I do have it open. And so you would just uh, double click on this and it's going to open a brand new chart. It will basically look like the chart to the right. And then you would put whatever uh, template on there or set it up whatever way that you want. And so that's the basic installation. And uh, I know it was a little bit lengthy, but uh, it should answer most of the questions. So let's close this one out and then we'll get on to the trading in the next one.